what's up everybody and welcome back here for torque drift tuesday here on the mobile platform so we're here to play some torque drift because it's been definitely a minute since i've brought you guys some more torque drift so just to update you guys on what's been going on in the game since i haven't been you know streaming it too much or posting videos gonna be trying to do more just the game has had a little bit of a lull and well now we're gonna get back into the content so for the Lexus build, it is definitely coming along. We got some new parts in it, different motors and things of that nature. It's not perfect yet, so uh, we'll do an update video on that very shortly. We're going to open some crates though real quick for, before we get into what we're going to be doing today. But the Lexus build is continuing to go on trying to get it to handle and do what I want it to do. So, we're going to finish opening these two crates and then we're going to get into the challenge for today. That is a chase challenge of an FD car. One of my favorite FD drivers, other than my favorite Forrest Wang, but Al Conadale, the chase challenge of his two libraries in, of course, one of my favorite tracks here in Torque Drift. That is Cali Banks. So there, I haven't done it yet. We're gonna go and try and get our crates and try and get onto the leaderboard. I've been seeing some leaderboard scores and they're up there. You know, 80 some thousand, you know, on the door, on the wall. So we got to get 75,000 to get everything. We're going to be rocking the um, ISR library going against his original one. So let's do it. Let's send it at Cali Bank with Al Condale's car. American Ethanol powered. S14. We're definitely going to try and stay on his door as much as possible. I kind of threw that a little bit too far, so we're definitely not going to get this one on this first try. I tried to be a little bit overconfident on that run through that bank section. You definitely need to be on his door and up against every part of the wall in order to complete this challenge. Cali Bank is definitely a super fun track, but it also could be a very deadly track too if you uh, hit that wall and get bit. So, didn't get it on the first try, but we're going to try it again. Because you know we're going to try and complete this challenge before the end of this episode. 75,000. I feel like it's definitely doable. Cali Bank, one of my favorite tracks. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of you found in the description box below. Make sure you click down the link down there if you guys want to check out the merch store. If we're at merch, available for you guys. Still available to get it before Christmas if you order it soon. If you guys want to pick up some Evil Rabbit merch yourself. So we're going to give this another go here on Cali Banks. Definitely got the acceleration. Not as much on that one. I kind of throw it a little bit too much and then I fall off halfway through the bank and that's where I lose a lot of my follow points. Oh, I overshot him. All the left foot brakes trying to get back on his door but unfortunately this run is done. So I need to not throw it as hard on the bank entry because it's kind of screwing me up a little bit. We need to try and go as close as can to his door. That's a little bit better. That's much better. There we go. That's kind of what I want to see. As long as I can continue that through this part of the track. Ah, uh, a little bit shaky on that part of the wall, but we managed to somehow turn it out and we kind of biffed it towards the end. I'll oh, rip on my part through that section. Oh, I think we'll get some credit towards some of our points. At least, I believe, we'll get that 70. Just shy of the 75. Man, that was close. I was up there. I, I, that's where I needed to be on initiation. That's where I needed to be. But I biffed it on that entry on to the inner bank. The transition. Threw it a little bit too soon. Got a little bit too comfortable behind that 118 car of Al Conadale. So what we're going to do... Another run. We'll try and initiate up on the wall again. We were not as high on the bank as we were last run. So we were able to somewhat bring it back there. But if we cannot throw it that fast, ah, oh, rip, auto drift. Man, you know, I'm trying to put this whole tandem run together. You know, I know a lot of people probably got this on first try because Cali Bank is a track that everybody's ridden so much and got so comfortable in that it's super easy to grab tandems indoors that is where I needed to be 
Oh. Trying everything I can to stay within the door of Haunadale. Trying to bring it up closer to the wall. That is not going to do it. Only 70. Man. Unfortunately, we we're not able to get back up into the 74s. So we're going to keep trying this. Definitely determined to get it. Experiencing a little bit of frame rate lag for some reason in the smoke. Could be because my phone battery might be a little bit low, but then again, it could also have to do with the fact that I'm running on Ultra Graphics on my Galaxy S10, S10 Plus. There we go. Oh, rip. Too much on the front bumper. Nope, that's not gonna do it. So if you guys did get this, where are you guys on the leaderboard? Let me know down in the comments. Where are your scores? And seeing a lot of the guys I follow um, on Instagram, some of the big torture players are definitely, oop, too much of a tail tap, are definitely up there in the ranking. I wanna get up there in the ranking, but I gotta get my points first so I can try and see and get up into the ranking world here on this chase challenge. Before it ends, should have been closer to the wall, but I kind of will take that because maybe I can gain some more points here. Over, over corrected. Rip. Sometimes it's pretty hard to put the full chase run together, a flawless chase run together and make it a perfect run. Sometimes it takes multiple tries to get that perfect chase run because sometimes maybe the bank run is better and the inner course is better and sometimes you get it all at once, or like my worm where I was in the 74s, almost 75s. Everything was good except for that one transition. If I wouldn't have gotten cocky and transitioned too soon, I probably would be up there right now and not be still trying to bang this chase run. Oh man, Hondale's lead is definitely on the wall. See, that's where I needed to be, so I'm gonna try and practice this lower half of the track. It's a little bit too far. I gotta just get my transitions down. I gotta probably throttle out and transition that way because I'm probably staying on throttle too much to transition. I need to get off throttle transition. So, a little bit rusty. Need to play more torque drift, obviously. Oh, and not go too hard into the paint like that. Let me try and finish this off though. Oh, that was good on that part of the wall, but unfortunately, this runs nowhere near good enough to be up there in the points. So we're gonna give it another shot. I'm just trying to bang these, uh, bang these runs out. Definitely want to try and complete this before the end of this episode. Except, like make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always. Let me know down in the comments if you want to keep seeing Torch Drift. I know you guys do, and I'm sorry that I have not brought Torch Drift recently. I will bring more Torch Drift here onto the channel because I know you guys like seeing it. It's just recently I've been focused on other things, and now we can get back to Torch Drift. Maybe start with the new computer, get the streams and everything going again, get the Discord going, and do some live tandems back on Torch Drift. I know you guys had a lot of fun in the live sessions and the live streams with the live tandem. So, live tandem should be coming back to the channel hopefully very soon. I definitely enjoyed those as well. There we go, this is, this is better. As long as we can not do that. As I, I should not say something, I should just be quiet. Cause when I say something, that happens. Rip. El Condo challenge, not a hard challenge at all, but Sometimes difficult to put out all the pieces together in one run. As you guys can see, I'm having a bit of a problem putting all the pieces together in one run. Oh, nope. Man, curse of not playing for a while. Definitely need to start playing this game again more. I've been playing a couple more mobile games that I may bring to the channel as well some uh, other drift games and stuff like that. I know a lot of people have been saying I should play Car X Drift Racer 2. I have been playing it. I do have a bunch of cars built in there. So, could be bringing some Car X Drift Racer 2 to the challenge. 
to the channel, not to the channel, to the channel, as well as more Torque Drift. As always, Torque Drift, a very fun game for me. Oh, why did I angle out? No, come back. Come back, Honadale. Ugh. Oh, it's definitely great to see Elk Honadale back behind the wheel of a car and doing stuff like that after his uh, fight with his illness and stuff like that. So it's great to see Elk Honadale back behind the wheel and in his car. Definitely a fun driver to watch and a fan favorite. And I always love how his libraries are always changing every single round. Ooh, keeping us on our feet with our liveries and liveries, however you want to pronounce it from wherever you're from. I gotta get this. We're just gonna focus on this one. This one this one's it. This one's gonna be it. One's definitely not going to be it. It looks good on the entry, but that one's definitely not going to be it either. Dang. Such a simple challenge, yet I'm struggling right now. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my. Don't do that. So definitely might want to drive El Condell's car in a Seto. I do have it on a Seto Corsa. May come and rip Cali Banks in El Condell's S14 on a Seto Corsa and see what I can do with it on a full wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I think one or two more tries before we're beating this car into the ground here today. And I know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna say that was the last run and then I'm gonna play it once or twice before bed and that is when I will actually complete it. When I am not recording or trying to do it here live on the channel. Cause that's usually what happens. I tend to not beat the challenge when I'm recording and then two minutes later, I do complete the challenge. So like I said, if you guys completed the challenge, let me know where you guys stack up on the leaderboard because I am definitely going to try and bury myself into that leaderboard before this challenge is over. Cause I feel like this challenge, out of all the challenges they've had, is probably a challenge that I could probably get myself onto the leaderboards. We just gotta, Gotta stay focused and, you know, stay on Mr. Honadale's door and be able to complete this challenge quickly. Hello, doggy. Just got a lick from my dog and it didn't help. I was hoping it would be a good luck lick, but it was not. Unfortunately, only 61. So we're going to give it one more shot here to end this episode off. Hell, Honadale. Great lead. Gotta stay up on the wall. But unfortunately, I am struggling to do that. But you guys have followed me on the channel long enough to Torque Drift to know Cali Banks could be one of my best tracks or my worst tracks. Oh my. Especially when that happens. Could be one of my best tracks or my worst tracks, depending on how the wall likes me that day. Final run. Wasn't going to end the episode on a glitchy run. Initiate in. Ooh, little door bump on Honadale. Transition a little bit sooner. And into the back bumper. So I think that'll do it here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll probably get this as soon as I start recording. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.